This is the backyard. We're about to have a feed. It's backyard feeds. I'm Monks, and with me, this is Izzy. Sup? So, Iz, what are we making today? Today, we're going with a little bit of a, a little bit more simple, um, this recipe, but it's um, native anyway. We're cooking damper. Uh, the added element which makes it even more native is the fact that we're adding wattle seed to it today. So we have our wattle seed from here, which is kind of um, very, very rich. Uh, a little bit of a coffee nut sort of vibe going on, but yeah, quite strong. Where'd you get that uh, wattle seed from, Is? We got it from uh, Source Bulk Foods in uh, Dural. So check them out. They are a franchise there all around and they do bush tucker ingredients and um, yeah, native teas and herbs and all that sort of stuff. So check them out. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go two cups of flour. Get our self-raising flour. It raises itself. Doesn't yep. need no parents. Self-raising, jeez. Independent children, these ones. Wait. Just waiting for that to happen, but we got yeah. there. Okay, we've got our two cups of flour. Let's get the little nut. We don't want no casualties. Anybody who knows me knows that Captain Destruction could appear at any moment. Okay. Next step, very simple, two tablespoons of uh, butter. Get that in there. Pretty unique looking tablespoon you got there is. I know, look at it. It's kind of got everything, well not everything, but it's, it's got what we need. And that's the main thing. So it's a heap tablespoon? No, it's, there's, there's a gap underneath, don't worry, I got this covered. Okay, now we're gonna, this is where we get down and dirty. So we're gonna mix this around, but we need to get our hands in it. So here we go. Got a special technique you're using there is? I don't think that I do. <laughs> there is there is some pinching there is some pinching going on and massaging and rubbing. There's a combination of those things going on. Um, pinching, rubbing. Yeah, I guess there is a technique. This is a little bit of the different side to the cooking than we, well, myself used to. Not necessarily doing much uh, baking or anything. So this is this is a little bit different. I'm starting to see it getting a bit uh, crummy. You can see that happening. So what are we looking for here? What sort of consistency? What are you trying to, uh, you know, vibe on? When do you know that it's right? When do you know that it's ready? I guess when you got that overall crummy looking uh, Vibe. Is it a vibe? It's a vibe. I feel the vibe. No, so what, it's you, a it's a crummy feel. So you know you're ready when your food looks crummy. <laughs> when it looks crummy, not in any other situation would you be saying this. Uh, but unless you're crumbing something, then the food you're making is quite crummy. But last time we were cooking something like this, I asked him what consistency we we're looking for when he was um, <laughs> adding the water, and he's like. You, oh, you want it to be doughy. <laughs> oh, you want your dough to be doughy. Very insightful. Very yeah, insightful. that's it. That's just like uh, my mind thinks thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think uh, I think we're looking we're looking pretty good. What do, what do you think, monks? How do you feel about this? Is it looking is it looking crummy to you? Does it look crummy? As crummy as it wants to be, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon we're all right. A bit of a dust off. So okay, what comes next, young Israel? We need to get all the rest of our ingredients in there and mix it around before we start adding the milk. So we want uh, a pinch of salt or two. 
Okay, we've got our two pinches of salt. We have sugar. We want two teaspoons teaspoons of sugar all right this brings us to the uh, the last stage before we get it cooking uh, we need to add our milk and for you guys on the camera listening you just want to add a little bit of milk so we got half a cup here we want to add about a quarter of that just to begin with just to get it get it going Now you want to keep adding milk until until this starts bonding and, and so you coming just, together. So you just added a quarter of a half a cup, or you added a quarter of a cup, which was half of a half? Quarter of half a cup. So an eighth of a cup. <laughs> we'll put an eighth of a cup in there. For starters, yeah. All right then. Okay. As you can see, still needs plenty of milk, so let's go another quarter so we've now we've now reached half of a half a cup we have so look at that this isn't just about food this is also about maths there you go kids maths with a double f <laughs> maths maths for those who are from penrith i don't know if anybody listening is from penrith more It almost sounded like you had a question mark on the end there. More? <laughs> more? Yeah, more. It kind of was. I was asking um, the universe. Asking the flowers. I was asking the universe if that's what we, we need. Now, as you can see, it is starting to bond, but we still need more. And we probably need hands first. So let's, let's get our hands in there. It's about to start making a beat. I thought you were going to kick a real one. Let's just put that there. Okay, so you can feel, well you can't feel, but I can. It's starting to come together and now I can actually somewhat knead my dough. Okay, so the consistency you're looking for is you want it to, you want the dough to all bond together uh, and you want it to sort of all lift out in one piece. As you can see, as you can see just here, we can lift out the whole thing. Now there are still cracks. Cracks in this is still a little bit too dry. So what we're gonna do is um, just create a little bit of a well there to pour the milk over the top. And then we're gonna knead it out a little bit. Okay, so that's much, much better. And those cracks are disappearing as you can, as you can see it's bonding much better. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little bit of flour. Gonna put it onto our clean table. So you don't want a dirty table for this, do you? You don't? No. No. It's a clean one you're looking for, right? Depends how crummy you want it to be. What if you don't have a clean table? Man, you just got to work with what you got, right? You so know? you don't bother cleaning <laughs> it? <laughs> but did you die? <laughs> Is what I will ask. And you know what? Your immune system needs to be strengthened up, so you know. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna get yeah. this on. Yeah, say, say, say that in the era of COVID. Go on. It's COVID. But did you, yeah, yeah, just put your flour on your clean table. So, what's this called? What are you doing now, Izzy? Uh, it's kind of what a, what a cat does. Yeah, they, they need. Yeah. But we're, we're needing. We're, we're, what, what, what are we needing? We need dough. We need that money. Nah, we just uh, needing our dough.
Now we're going to fold it into a ball. Don't you usually roll things into balls? Fold, then roll. That's an intricate folding process you must have in mind. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to just uh, cross the top. Okay, we're ready to go. We're going to get this on the barbecue. We're going to wrap it in foil. Now we're going to cook this for about 25, uh, sorry, 35, 40 minutes. About halfway through, so about 20 minutes in, you want to open up your foil um, to let it uh, sort of go crunchy, crusty on top. Uh, a little bit charred. So yeah, about 20 minutes in, open that up. But for now, whack it in, let's go. Okay, so we've reached our halfway point. Oh, it's hot in here. We're gonna open this up, be careful, it's gonna be hot. We're gonna open this up to let it breathe. And we're only halfway through, we're gonna let this cook some more. All right, and uh, let that go for another 20 minutes and it'll be done. We have come to the end, my friends. There we are. So first things you wanna check if it um, has a little bit of a hollow sound when you tap it. And also a good thing to do is to Give it a poke, and what you want is no nothing coming out on the on the no goo. She's done. There's our wattle seed damper. Now uh, I'm just going to break off break off a bit here. Nice and hot. Now, why wattle seed? Um, first of all, really high in protein and uh, low, low GI and also lots of minerals. So great source of protein, even though it's just bread. Uh, and it's native, so there you go. Let's butter this. There you have it. What's the verdict? Honest answers is, don't go all TV show on us. Tell the truth. It's good. There you go, folks. It's good. What'll see damper. Catch you next week.